Okay. Now, uh, you know what? It's just a guy I want to talk to because his name mm-hmm. is Vinny. And, and and when you have a name like Vinny, I, I, I'll, tell, I'll introduce him and I'll tell you my experiences with being a Vinny. And he could tell me his. Hello, Vinny. Hey, what's going on? How are you? I'm fine. How you doing? You in California? I know. So far away. <laughs> so far away, but yet so close. Um, we ran into each other on Facebook. Right. And right. Uh, it was just coincidental. I'm talking about nicknames. Now, growing up, I was Vinny. And, uh, well, Vincent, because I went to Catholic school. But uh, being Vinny, you kind of had come some kind of like uh, responsibility of being, you know, being Vinny, if you know what I mean. How about you? Oh, definitely. Well, you know, I'm actually generational. I'm actually Vincent the Third. Now, my grandfather wow. was Vincent, and my dad, they called him Vince. And I was left with the Vinny, so they said, well, we're not going to give you Vincent or Vin, so we'll just give you a Vinny. So I was left with Vinny, so here I am. <laughs> oh, okay. And I yeah, usually you know, call it, Vinny Vin. I don't call him Vinny, right? Right. I usually hey. call him yeah, Vin. I had the same thing. Uh, my father's cousin was Vincent. Uh, his son was Vincent Jr. My father was called J.B., and he was called Jimmy, but his real name was Vincent. I mean, I can't figure it out, but um, I'm a junior, and my name is Ashley Vincent DeVingo Jr. And uh, so you're Vinny Jr. too, huh? (laughs) Yeah, I'm a third. (laughs) And, you know, growing up, you know, now I'm 24 years old and nowhere near having a kid, but I always feel like that little pressure of, you know, if I do have a Uh-oh. son, am I going to have to carry on the tradition and do a Vincent? Would you? Uh, you know, you I thought about it, but then, you know, there's situations I'll tell you a little bit about is sometimes what happens is when my grandfather was alive, we would get credit reporters calling us and saying, hello, Vincent, you just purchased the house. And my dad <laughs> would be like, I purchased a house. When did I purchase a house? Well, what would happen is they would go and do a search for our name, but they wouldn't do senior, junior, or a third. So what would happen is they would get us all mixed up. Um, That's just one incident. There's other incidents where, you know, if we went to the same bank and had the same bank account type, uh, you know, thing, what would happen is if my dad would be transferring money, that money would be actually getting pulled out of my account and going into his account. <laughs> wow. So. You know, it's funny you oh, look that up, because I, I get those calls, too, but usually they're looking for me, not the other Vinnies. And they'll call and they'll go, I, I have a trick for them all. They'll call and go, uh, can I speak to Vinny? Yeah, what's up? Oh, man, you the dude that was here last night. You left all kinds of smoke on the seat that you were sitting with, the board that you were making out with, and then the guy that you were making out with. What, what, what are you talking about? I said, well, you just said Vinny. So obviously you're a friend of Vinny's, right? No, 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 uh, this is a business. Well, you didn't say that. And if it's a business matter, you don't call up and ask for Vinny. You ask for Mr. DeVingo. Oh, well, it was Mr. DeVinga. No, no, I said, no, we, we don't do it like that. you got to hang up and start all over. And, I, you know, I just bust their chops. <laughs> but when I ask for Vinny DeVinga, a lot of times I'll go, yeah, this is him. And they'll say, well, do you know that you're, you're delinquent on American Express from 20 years ago? Uh, I'm delinquent on what? Who, who do you want? Well, this, you said it's Vinny DeVingo. You're Vinny DeVingo. I said, yes, but I'm Vinny DeVingo Jr. You didn't say which one you want. You know, because I love to play with play with people that, you know, that act retarded. Yeah, yeah. So, Vinny, tell me about your radio show. Yeah, basically what happens is there's the record labels will reach out to me. I get connections from, you know, Virgin Records, Sony, uh, Warner Brothers, and basically they contact me and they say, Hey, Vinny, we have this artist 
for instance, like the Jonas Brothers or Megadeth or Metallica, Anthrax, you know, all, all, all kinds of bands that are in my area that are on tour. And basically they send me out and I go out and I'll interview the band, talk about their upcoming album releases, talk about, you know, their music video and tour life. And really? Like You're a fucking star! Yeah, and uh, then basically, you know, if the bands have music videos, you know, I'll play them on the show. But what I would say is what makes me unique is not only am I the one that people are seeing on camera, I'm the guy who's making the phone calls saying, hey, would you like to be on the show, you know, in person, on the phone, through the Internet, whatever, and uh, also filming and editing. You know, my family is really supportive of, of me, and... I'll say, hey, Mom, Dad, you know, there's a comedian in town. You want to go out and run a camera? And I'll go and interview them, and we'll watch the show. We'll film a little bit of the show, and we'll, you know, 14 hours sitting in front of the computer, sleepless nights, editing, putting it all together, and burning the DVDs one after another, saying this one goes to New York, this one goes to California, this one airs on this station, and getting it out and doing the whole thing. Okay, uh, Pity, how do, how, do how do I see your work? Yeah, you can go to my official website, which is vinnylangdonshow.com, and that's Vinny with the I-E, V-I-N-N-I-E, L-A-N-G-D-O-N-S-H-O-W.com, and you can check out my interviews, some of the music videos I've shot, interviews with the bands. I also am a filmmaker, so I'm actually getting ready to shoot a film on April 5th, and it's one of those 48-hour challenges where you have to write, film, edit, and shoot a seven-minute short film with the genre that you draw out of the hat. So you can see some of the film work I've done, acting. I've been on the red carpet with actors like Dennis Hopper. and uh, Dennis Hopper, Bing. I stood in for him. Yeah. He's a good friend. The Hopper man, good stuff. But, you know, I I enjoy doing it all. And, you know, I was learned at a, taught at a young age. You know, you got to be diverse. You can't say, well, hey, I'm just going to be an actor that's going to do comedy sitcom work because all you're going to do is get comedy sitcom work, and that's what people are going to know you for. And I like to be open if I ever got a call saying, Vinny, do you want to do a short film? Vinny, we got a feature film to do. We need an actor that looks like you. Or, hey, do you want to do a TV show? We need a host. And I'm your guy, so. <laughs> well, if wow, you've done all that, you know then what? send your tapes out. Just send your tapes out to everybody. Yeah. Yeah, that what? could become a, a that could be a job in itself. Uh, I know. Now, me, yeah. I, I would do exactly what he's doing. Uh, pick and choose, see where you're going to learn the punch, and then throw the punch. And he's doing all right because he, he gets on the red carpet. I mean, I, I know guys that were like PAs on a movie set, and uh, one superstar likes them, or, you know, not likes them, likes them, but likes their attitude and uh, the way they do things, and forget about it. They, <laughs> you know, you do what you want when you want. I mean, really, it's you know that. Then he, then he knows that he's out there. It's uh, it's it's draw of the the you know you draw the straws every day, especially in California. You don't know who you can want to. That time I was going, I was going to let him in the studio for an audition. I get on the on the bus right near your house on what Fifty Fifth Street and First Avenue, the Crosstown bus. I get on the bus. I'm all excited. Yeah, I'm going to Letterman's for the audition. I sit down. I'm talking to the guy. The guy says, the "Guy sees me sitting there. I had the headshot in my hand." He said, "Uh, you're an actor." I said, "Yeah." He said, "Well, oh uh, yeah." I said, "Yeah, I'm going to Letterman's now. I got an audition. I'm supposed to do. I forget what the hell it was. One of them little funny skits." And uh, he said, oh, yeah, I was a scout talent for Johnny Carson when he was in his heyday. I said, wow, because you never know who you're going to run into. Right. And Kim Mike, we ha- Kim Mike, who worked on Third Watch with us, he used to drive a cab. And he used to put his headshot in the back of the cab saying, you know, out of work actor, looking for work. And... He he had two two customers once in the cab. He drove them to NBC, and it was 
Nenos. Nenos is the guy's name. He's the president of NBC. And they were looking, the David Letterman show was looking for a lookalike uh, like him to do a lot of like funny things on the Letterman show. And he did this, he did the Letterman show. Gee, he's probably still doing it. But he, I know he did it about eight times. Just like Walker, that's like uh, $600 a night. And uh, it was all from, you know, just trying to market yourself. You know, people think that you have to have agents. You have to, you know, you buy backstage and just submit. So I'll never meet you unless I'm on a red carpet. Right, right. Well, hopefully I'll be in New York this summer. So got a family reunion coming up. So hopefully get out to... uh, you know, Lake of Pacon area up in Jersey, so it'll be fun. Get back there. He's a Jersey <laughs> oh, boy, man. Right, well, I'm in South Jersey. I'm in Tom's River. Uh, I mean, I don't know how long I'm going to be here. Lee's in Florida. Jamie's in South Jersey. And uh, hopefully, Fantastic. you know, we'll hook, we'll hook up. You know what I mean? Yeah. We'll, we'll meet in the city or something. You know what I mean? Hey, I give you a website again. Please. Yes. Official website is www.vinnylangdon, L A N G D O N, show, S H O W, dot com. Or you can just Google my name, Vinny Langdon, IMDb, all that fun stuff should be up and all over there. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's cool.